Hi, my name is Jennifer Lopez and I'm here shooting the new guest campaign. I got a call from a manager that Paul Marciano had had some interest in me being the new guest girl. <laughs> I have to say I was like a little bit like, really? <laughs> don't they usually use like 19 year old models for that? I don't know. But when I met with Paul, it was such a nice thing. I guess he had seen me at a party somewhere and he was like, what am I doing? He's like, that is the guest woman. That is the guest girl. That is who I should be having in my campaigns. And he just reached out and asked me to do it. It's funny because when we met too, he said, you know, when you're in your 20s and 30s, maybe not. But now is when I see it. And I don't know, I took that as a tremendous compliment that women just keep getting better as they keep growing. It was really, really flattering. I mean, I, I love all the guest campaigns, the ones from the 80s and the 90s, and, you know, Anna Nicole Smith, and, you know, Eva Herzegova, and all of these beautiful, beautiful models and iconic images that he's created over the years and curated that have become the brand of guests. Well, I think whenever you see a guest campaign, you think to yourself and you see the beautiful images that they come out with, you think, who is that? Who is that girl? You know, a lot of times we didn't even know some of the models that were in it until they became guest girls. Um, my first impression seeing a guest campaign, I don't know the first time. I just remember being very young in the 80s and thinking, you know, being a teenager and thinking, I need a pair of guest jeans. <laughs> I need the denim outfit, I need the whole thing. I mean, I just always love the high-waisted jeans, acid wash, like worn out, ripped, but that, that which is very classic, just the perfect fitting pair of jeans. I love that all of the campaigns and the way they portray women, it's, it's, they don't hide away from the sensuality of a woman, but they always kind of exude a, a sort of happiness and a sort of confidence too, you know? They're always smiling or being seductive in some way. They're very much in their own power and they feel like they're, they're like the girl in the room that you want to hang out with or want to party with a little bit. Like, what's her life like? <laughs> I want to have her life. So it's, uh, that's, that's what I always think when I, when I see the campaigns. I'm being myself in this campaign. Um, a performer, he said it in Vegas, kind of, and, and in Hollywood, is very much the two sides of who I am, kind of the singer and dancer and entertainer, and then the actress and kind of old Hollywood 60s, 70s, you know, actress icons of that time. so many kind of artistic inspirations growing up, like Barbara Streisand and Diana Ross when I was growing up, and their glamour and their multi-talented, there were singers and actors and dancers and directors, and I, I just was always kind of drawn to that, and, and I was always drawn to the glamour that they had as well. very much my kind of mix of styles. Yeah, I mean, I started dancing just because I love to dance. I didn't really think about it. It was just something that I had to do and wanted to do and loved to do. 
So yeah, and that just kind of grew into everything else that I've done over the years. I mean, uh, most songs get me up dancing. It's not that hard. <laughs> I mean, I love reggaeton. I love Spanish music, so. something that you can never really put your finger on. There's always trends, but it's always evolving. It's always changing. But what's classic is classic, and that never changes. That always stays the same. And that's what I love about fashion, is that you can always kind of throw back to another time. But like a black turtleneck will always be perfect. You know, and a trench coat will always be a vocal emotion. And, you know, a woman in a trench coat, or, you know, uh, the perfect pair of jeans and a t-shirt will always be the perfect thing to wear no matter what. You know, it's just certain things, or the little dress, or whatever. There's just certain things that, that never go out of style. I've accomplished everything, again, because I feel like just like fashion, art, or being an artist, or being a creative person, there's always something else to do, or else you just get stuck. I don't ever want to get stuck. I always want to keep changing and evolving and growing and breaking new boundaries. And I don't know. There's just a passion that I've always had inside me and a drive to do stuff that matters, I guess you know, to me and to, and, and to move people, to make them feel things. Changing the way people look at things and the way they look at women. Thank you guys for watching. Love you.